In this video, we'll be looking at integrating even powers of sec x and tan x. Now, when we were looking at integrating powers of sine and cos, we made use of the Pythagorean identity, sine theta, or sorry, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. When we look at the even powers of sec and tan, we're gonna use something that's similar to that. Actually, it derives from the Pythagorean identity, and that is that one plus tan squared is equal to sec squared. And this is an identity that's going to become very helpful for us when we do these integrals. So let's have a look at the first example. It's the integral of sec to the power 4x. Now clearly we want to try to involve sec squared in this because that's what our integral or our identity tells us. So what we're going to do is we're going to always want to pull out a sec squared here. So in this case, if we pull out a sec squared or factor out a sec squared, we're left with another sec squared. Now, the, the sec squared that we pull out, we don't want to touch that, we want to leave that, and you'll see why in a moment. But the other, the other sec squared, or whatever's remaining, we want to make a substitution using that identity on the right there. So that's going to be 1 plus tan squared x. Now we can distribute the sec squared through. And so we'll get the integral of sec squared x plus sec squared x tan squared x. All right, now I'm gonna split this up into two integrals, but this really isn't that necessary. You might be able to write the answer straight from this line already, but that's okay. Let's do it one step at a time. All right, so we've just split that integral into two separate integrals. The first one is a standard integral. That's on your integral sheet, and you should know that that's just equal to tan x. The second one, you might be able to make a mental substitution, but if not, let's make a regular substitution, a u substitution here. This sec squared here, this is actually the derivative of tan. And here, so we have f dash and f x to the power n. So the substitution we would make is u equals f of x, which in this case is tan x. Differentiating will give us du on dx equals sec squared x. And from that, we can get that du is equal to sec squared x dx. So now we can make that substitution into our integral. So that's going to be the integral of tan squared, well, tan is u, so this is u squared, and then sec squared times dx is just going to be du. So we still have this tan x here. The integral of u squared is u cubed on 3, plus a constant, since we have no more integrals left. But we need to change this back into something in terms of x. So this is going to be tan x plus tan cubed x on 3 plus c. And that is our final answer. The second integral is the integral of tan to the power 6x. So once again, we're going to make use of this formula, one or this identity, one plus tan squared x equals sec squared x. And we might just rearrange this to have it in terms of tan squared. So tan squared x equals sec squared x minus one. And it should be obvious that you need to do this because we're dealing with powers of tan here. So we want to make a substitution for something tan equals something. Okay, now let's go back to the integral. We want to rewrite this in, in a way that has a tan squared. So let's pull out a tan squared. And when we do that, we get tan squared x times tan to the 4x. All right, now... We want to make that substitution. So where I have a tan squared, I want to put sec squared x minus one, that's coming from the identity, and then times tan to the four x dx. Now, unlike the previous example, where we factored out a sec squared, let's, where was it? We factored out a sec squared here. The reason that we did that is because sec squared is the derivative of tan. And that's going to be very helpful when we want to make a substitution. So when we factored out that sec squared, 
It just so happened that what was left over was a sex squared here. But the one that we factored out was the one that we left alone in the, ter in the case of the integral of a power of sec. When we're integrating a power of tan, the one that we factor out, which was tan squared, that's actually what's going to be substituted, or that's what we're going to use to substitute using this identity. So that's a small difference to note between the two. Now, if we expand this out, we'll have sex squared x times tan to the power 4x minus tan to the power 4x dx. Now, the first integral, let's split these two up, actually, once again. You might not have to do this if you're pretty confident, but let's take it slow. The first integral is something that we can integrate using a u substitution, or we could make a mental substitution. I think in this case, I'm just going to make the mental substitution. I can see that this is f dash of x, and this is f of x, whoops, f of x to a power. So when I integrate that, that's going to be tan to the power 5x divided by 5. And now I have to deal with tan to the power 4x. Well, this is another even power of tan, so I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to factor out a tan x, whoops, tan squared x, I should say. And I'm left with a tan squared x. And then once again, I'm going to make my substitution. And I make my substitution with the tan squared that I factored out, which is this bit. So I get tan to the power 5x over 5 minus the integral of... This now becomes sex squared minus 1 times tan squared x. This tan to the power 5x on 5 is still here. Now we can distribute the tan squared through. So it's sex squared x times tan squared x minus... Actually, you know what? Let's split this integral into two straight away. And when we do that, we need to be careful because we're going to have minus minus, which makes this a plus, the integral of tan squared x. Let's bring this up a little. Still have tan to the 5x on 5 out here. Now we can do the same idea. This is f dash of x. This is f of x to some power n. We could make the substitution u equals f of x. And if we did that, this would give us, not sec, it would give us, let's put that power n back. It would give us tan cubed x on 3. And then this is an even power of 10 again, and so we apply the same trick. We factor out a tan squared, well, it's already factored out for us, and then we substitute sec squared x minus 1 dx. And now we can integrate everything. tan to the power 5x on 5 minus tan cubed x on 3 plus the integral of sec squared, which is tan x minus the integral of 1, which is x, plus a constant. And that is the final answer. So to summarize what we've learned in this video, the first part, if we're integrating an even power of sec x, we have to factor out the sec squared x, and then we leave this alone. Remember, this is the part that plays the role of the derivative of tan x when we want to make our substitution. So we leave that bit alone. The remaining factor, so what's left over, we then use the substitution sec squared equals 1 plus tan squared. And I've sort of shown you in a general way how to do that here. After that, you expand and then make the substitution u equals tan x. The second part, when integrating an even power of tan x, you factor out tan squared x, and then you make the substitution tan squared x equals sec squared minus 1 with that tan squared that you factored out. So it's sort of the opposite of what we were doing with the sec squared. And again, I've sh sort of shown you the general case of how to do that. And then if necessary, and it most likely is going to be necessary, you repeat this process until you have no more even powers of tan. Of tan. 
okay? No more even powers of 10. At that point, you can make the substitution u equals 10x.